This beetle is a walking powder keg. That cloud you see is the result of a lightning-fast chemical reaction inside his body. When attacked, the beetle sets off the explosion, releasing a boiling hot, stinging poison that sends his enemies running. He can even aim it. This potent mixture inside the beetle is made up of three main ingredients. Mix the first two of them together and nothing happens, but throw in the third and boom. So the beetle has a trick. He keeps these ingredients separate inside his body. From an evolutionary standpoint, that's what's interesting. In fact, people have been scratching their heads over this for decades. How did this complex system evolve over time? Wouldn't earlier generations of beetles have blown themselves up like a bunch of amateur bomb makers? To some, this beetle's very survival is proof that the whole theory of evolution is wrong. But it turns out there is a way this system could have evolved gradually. Remember that third ingredient? It's an enzyme. It's like a spark. It sets the explosion in motion. And enzymes evolve. At first, maybe this one wasn't so dangerous. But gradually, it became more potent, more specialized, more explosive. As the beetle's body changed to contain it. Scientists at UC Berkeley are trying to figure out how this system came together. They think one of those explosive chemicals evolved from the same raw materials as the beetle's shell. That happens a lot in evolution. It's called exaptation, one body part repurposed for something else. The improbable bombardier beetle, living proof that what doesn't